Take a ride on so many ponies. Take a ride on so many ponies. Take a ride on so many ponies. Mr. Pineapple, oh yeah. It's Mr. Pineapple's Wonder Hour. Hello and welcome to Mr. Pineapple's Wonder Hour, the show where we talk big pineapples, small pineapples, hairy pineapples and everything in between. I am your host, Tony the Pony, and with me as always is the one and only and the incredible Mr. Pineapple. How are you, Mr. Pineapple? I'm all right, thank you. I'm feeling, You're right. Yeah, I'm feeling good. Good. Feeling positive. You won't be after this. No, no, I won't be. Hey, hey, hey. We're back with our fan favourite, Fast and Furious trilogy franchise uh episodes we're we're on to fast and furious five and six yes we are known as fast five and furious six some would say mm. in a cave right charlie d charlie d i'm missing, I'm missing. he had uh, some more autographs of his up for sale yesterday how much 30 quid it's a lot of money in it for a piece of paper i mean for the memes, though. For the memes. <laughs> you got a hairy pineapple for us? This week? No, I sadly don't. Oh. What I was going to do is just use this time to plug our Twitch. We have Twitch, guys. It's uh, Mr. Pineapple's Wonder Hour. We play a range of games. Ranging from? We've got, we know, we've played Uno, we've played Card, we've been playing a lot of uh, Defence Force 5 at the minute, we've played Payday 2. Uh, Pants Bastard plays some WoW on there, you know. We're trying to get, crap, but, yes, yeah. we're, tr- we're trying to get um, Grandad Dick to join him on there as well. I believe there's talks of um, Grandad Dick and your brother playing some Monster Hunter at some point. Um, did you not? Did you not take take to Monster Hunter? It done it not for me. Not for me. It don't really seem like a game to stream when it takes so long and yeah, so but, awkward to get into multiplayer. Yeah, it'd be fun though, wouldn't it? No. What else do we do? I've been playing Super Meat Boy and getting pissed right fucking off. Yeah. Such a good game, but god damn, it makes me hate life. I've been thinking about buying some really cheap horror games and playing them on there. They did have the Amnesia collection on sale the other day for okay. less than two quid. It was like 95% off. Oh. I was going to buy it and then I forgot. <laughs> Shit. So I could have got three games for like two quid, which is a bit, anno- <laughs> a bit annoying that I forgot. When mm. they pop back on, I'll um I'll drop you a message. Nice. But yeah, we play a lot. We're always um open to suggestions as well of uh, what kind of games people would like us to play. Um, you know, we're always happy to take suggestions. And if they're shit, I'll tell you the shit. You know. Um, Give a shout out to the analyst as well, putting yes. in a lot of effort to do all the technical stuff. Yes, he's on the the tech side. He's been doing uh, doing bits for us, you know, like an mm. absolute G. Yeah, when it comes up, pops up for summer. Yep, I I don't really know. I'm... It's every he's doing every half an hour. It pops up uh, advertising the podcast and one which says all our names and stuff. Like we're the people who do this. I've so, seen the pictures. Yeah. yeah. So all we can. There's a game type suggestion it, one as well. It, yeah, there's the suggestion box and stuff but we're up to 37 followers now Ooh. we've we've grown quite a bit recently we were less than 30 a, a week back so hopefully we can keep on growing there you know um if any of the people who follow us on twitch are listening we appreciate um the support uh, it means a lot EDF. it's a fun game is it though <laughs> weirdly yeah weirdly yes we should play some of that mini golf game on there Oh, Infinite Mini Golf. Yeah. Or the one that you played. Oh no, the one that we played, the god awful Planet Mini Golf, I believe. Some I have mini golf in the title, that's all I know. I love me I love me a mini golf game, I'm not gonna lie. Even one where it just breaks your game. Yeah. Every swing. Yeah. It's great. Remember when I was stuck on that a bit in the pirate level? I do remember that. I do remember that. I didn't get it in the basket. <laughs> that's, that's sad that mate. Yeah, it's uh Maybe it was a sign for you to play them on the stream. Maybe. No. Jesus exists. Sure. Right, should we get on to small pineapples? Of course, oh, bullshit and all. Trailers. We've only got four, but yeah, we're big trailers, aren't we? Not a big week in terms of quantity. But quality, maybe. 
Have you watched the trailers? <laughs> she started that one to watch, didn't you? Most of them. Right. First trailer we're going to talk about, Mortal Kombat. Big boy trailer there, isn't it? Mm-hmm. I've been excited about this for a while, ever since it was announced. Because you know there's not been a Mortal Kombat film in ages. And Mortal Kombat's probably my favourite fighting game. Really? Mm. It's a big show. Mortal Kombat. This trailer looks cool, doesn't it? It's got all your favourites in, apart from one, which we'll talk about in a minute. Yeah, I like the fact he's not in it. Fuck off. I think that's my favourite part of the trailer, him not being in it. He's the OG Mortal Kombat character, the first character they created for Mortal Kombat. And they amp him in it. Some say the worst Mortal Kombat character. Shut your mouth. He's the best. Sonya's in it. Why ain't he in it? Fucking hell. Anyway, Sub-Zero seems to be the baddie. Well, along with good old Shang Tsung and Malena. It seems to be centred around Sub-Zero. And in Sub-Zero, Hunting. played by Joe Talslin from The Raid. Yeah. After Fury 6. Yeah. Same. And you know, it shows a bit of um, the past. The, um, got what the clan's called. But Sub Zero's clan and Scorpion's clan fighting. You got our boy <coughs> Thingy. Can't remember his name. Playing Scorpion. Um, but it looks cool. I like how he's using his kunai as a gardening tool. And then the ninjas come in and he's like, tie a rope to it quick. So it shows you the origins of his. Get over here, weapon. It's nice. The fight scenes actually look pretty good as well. It's because they've got actual um, kung fu fighters in it. Yeah. The story, though. Let's talk about the story, shall we? Because if you watch this trailer and you're a bit like, oh my god, action, yeah, this this film looks fucking it looks, cool. It looks cool as fuck, yeah. <laughs> Try and focus on it and realise what the story is. It looks a bit shit, doesn't it? Washed up. <laughs> MMA fighter realizes he's been called, he's got the call in, or <laughs> yeah, whatever. it seems like he's going to be a descendant of someone, and he's got the, the Mortal Kombat symbol, the dragon in the circle on his chest, and he thought it was a birthmark or something. <laughs> but no, it's a, it's an invitation of sorts to participate in the Mortal Kombat tournament. Um, I've watched some some trailer breakdowns and that, and they're all speculating on who this. Cole, some I don't even know what his name is. Some of Cole, MMA fighter man is. Um, a lot of people think it's Johnny Cage, and he's gonna be. He's like changed his name from his stage name and just become an MMA fighter. I don't think that's the uh, the thing that they're going for. Um, some people think it's a descendant of Scorpion because in the trailer, it relates a lot to the like when he's looking into his backstory, and then you see the flashback of. Scorpion and his clan and stuff like that, and he's got the yellowy eyes like Scorpion has. I think that's just trying to throw people off because I watched this one video where it was do you know that picture of the guy where he's just wearing trousers and he's got them like arm brace braces on mm-hmm. and Sonya Blade's like this is the original Mortal Kombat tournament. That's uh, the original Kung Lao, mm-hmm. the one who does really well in the first well, kills everyone in the first uh, Mortal Kombat tournament. I believe he's a descendant of Kung Lao because later in the trailer we see Goro like, and then we see a guy on the on the ground and he's wearing basically what that guy in the picture is wearing, but he's got like armored skin it seems. Nice. So I believe he's a he's a Kung Lao, which is weird obviously because we've already got Kung Lao in the film. Um. Is there any characters that you didn't like the look of? Oh, see, I'm not, I'm not the biggest Mortal Kombat fan um, in terms of the games. Mm. So no, I didn't like the look of Melina. Her teeth don't stand out as much. I wanted big, massive mouth with ugly ass teeth. It kind of just looks like she's wearing grills. <laughs> Maybe she's part of a gang. Who knows? Maybe. This is the version Shang where she Sung's... stopped her rap career. <laughs> Why? Because she's black. Yeah. What are you trying to say? Yeah. White people can be black too. Eminem, for example, and the Beastie Boys. True. But yeah, it, it does look cool. I'm going to watch the shit out of it. Oh, it looks, it looks like stupid fucking fun. And Sub-Zero is like, to Jax's arms. That's fun. I like... People are mad because it's obviously Ermac in the games. But they've done it a ton of different ways in the comics and stuff, so shut the fuck up. 
I like it when he freezes the blood splatter it's and awesome. then stabs the guy yeah. with him. I'm like, God, oh, Joe Taslin from the raid. You're great. Yeah, that that little fight sequence seemed very video game like. Yeah. When he saw his ice wall and, yeah, and then he him into it. it. Yeah. That's good. Looks like we're going to see the, uh, what's it called now? Neverrealm, I think it is. The hell of Mortal Kombat, the Scorpion and stuff. It seems like Scorpion's a good guy, though, weirdly. It seems like he's... Well, there is actually still a Raiden and his team. And we get to see uh, Kano's in it. So Kano's a good guy. Sonya, Kung Lao, Liu Kang, and the main guy. It's just a bit weird that Kano's a good guy, though. Because, you know, he's just an arsehole. <laughs> Do like it when he uh, rips out Reptile's fucking heart in the trailer, though. There's a few characters in the trailer that aren't confirmed as cast members yet, like Reptile. And Smoke appears at one point, and yeah, it looks good. <laughs> will, it be be Cajun in it. will it be better than the original game film, though? No, oh, come on. Because that's, that's a banging film. Can't be that campiness, can you? Because this looks very, like, gritty and dark, which is a bit annoying. So I like, I like some uh, campy jokes now and again. That looks like there's going to be some campy jokes in there, though. Kano says at the end when he rips the heart out, I can't remember. Um, it's got a profane word in there. I remember that. Summer beauty, is it? You fucking beauty or something after ripping the, the heart out. Yeah. I, can't remember. I can't remember exactly. We're a long time since I've seen the trailer. That's not. Yeah, let's know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> let's move on, though, because we're talking a lot about Mortal Kombat. Johnny Cajun in it. Um, Justice League is the next trailer. Zack Snyder put out his first official trailer. It's still in the um, weird frame. Min? Framing? Oh no. Technical words. You know about the aspect ratios? Aspect ratio, that's it. What's it in? Letterbox for free. Yeah. Have you not seen the trailer? You- Have you seen the trailer? Yeah. <laughs> I don't believe you. How did I know it was in for free? Because you went, what's it in? <laughs> I've seen the trailer. Superman, yeah. Batman, Joker, Wonder Woman. Yeah. What happens at the start of the trailer? Then? I can't remember. I blacked that bit out. Fucking <laughs> dumb. Well, it starts off from the end of Batman v Superman. Yeah, it starts off at the end of Batman v Superman. I Superman's remember. Superman's like, ah, I am the law. Some rings are coming out of his mouth, but it looks a bit weird. <laughs> And then you hear someone say, the bell tolls. And boom, trailer. And um, Metallica kicks in. Yeah. I actually thought this trailer was pretty good. I didn't. You didn't even watch it, mate. Yes, I have. Full free. It looks like it, it looks like a completely different film. It won't to, be. To the original Justice League. It won't be. <laughs> There'll be ten minutes of new footage. Yeah. Well, we, all the trailers basically new footage. If that's all the new footage we're getting, he's just showing it in the trailer. <laughs> but now it's it's got a lot of different pacing. It seems like Steppenwolf's a little bad guy instead of the main big bad. And uh, yeah, it actually shows what his plan is. Instead of he was awakened by the mother box and now he wants to do a big beam in the sky and rule the world. Rule the you know, it shows dark side. Being like, yo, you need to go do this shit. And it's Batman being like, I saw the future. I need to get my team together. And you know, it's it's got no booyahs and stuff from Aquaman. So that's always a good good thing. <laughs> I quite enjoyed the Aquaman film. I thought it was colourful. It was very hard to watch on the eyes. <laughs> and I really liked that bit where they went to the deep. Did you like... Dolph Lundgren's hair. I like Dolph Lundgren in everything, so... Well, he's in this, so you can like him in this. I'm going to watch it. It's four hours long. I mean, you're going to make me watch it. <laughs> yeah, I am. I mean, obviously, the big reveal at the end... Jared's back, isn't he? He's like, we live in a science society. I and mean, then everyone's like, ah, that meme! But yeah, we speculated last week on how the Joker would be brought back into this film. I said a nightmare sequence, and I was right. He sat on top of a rock with a SWAT kind of vest on. Similar to what he has in Suicide Squad at the end. Don't want to talk about that film, man. And then, yeah, he talks to Batman. And Batman's like, eh, it's the Joker. 
where it ends. <laughs> but the trailer's pretty good. If you want to get rehyped for Justice League, go watch the trailer. Rehyped. Rehyped. Fucking start to get rehyped for a dumpster fire of a film, though, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, no. <laughs> I tried watching Justice League more than once. Have you I've never finished it? I fi- no, I, fi- I finally finished it. Mm. I watched it during my drinking days, and I think that's what um, made me get through it, the alcohol. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it is a bad film. Yeah, it's yeah. not good. I've got a little, a little tiny bit of hope for this, now, after seeing the trailer. I think we need more Just Whedon. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. We're going to talk about him later. Is Ray yeah. Fisher in the trailer? He is, yeah. Is he? He flies through a hole and does some, like, flippity do laser beam shit. Looks pretty cool, actually. Yeah. Ray Fisher, got no acting jobs now. Da, 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 da. Could have got his autograph the other day. Who wants that, eh? 50 quid, mate. On the Justice League promo. 50 quid? <laughs> yeah. Fuck me. It made me laugh when I saw it. Next trailer, though. Let's talk about a bad trailer, shall we? Cruella. Did you watch it? I did. Joker. It's not Joker, is it? Let's be honest. The Disney's Joker, we're all calling it. Well, it's not going to be, because it's going to be fucking PG. Or twelve e for everyone. <laughs> it, I, I hated this trailer. Yeah. I everything about it. It didn't even really... I don't. I didn't even get it. It's got nothing to do with dogs. It's, it's a origin tale, isn't it? Has she got some kind of, like, magical powers? Oh, fucking knows. Because she changes her dress like a magician. I think I, she's just a magician. I just thought she didn't like dogs. <laughs> I think this is <laughs> this is the origin of why she doesn't like dogs. I can only assume one of them pisses on her leg or something. Is it because them three dogs were growling at her in the trailer? Maybe. post credit scene, the dog takes a shit on a lawn. Yeah. She doesn't have a lawn, she lives in London. I love Emma Stone. She's one of my favourite actresses. She's not good in this film trailer. I don't know why she's done this. Uh, she, 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 she's not. This is weird casting, in my opinion. Mm, weird. Know. Weird casting. It, it just kind of seems like a fashion show film. I'm never going to watch it. I might make you. No. I'm going to make you. No, I'd end the podcast before I watch that film. <laughs> <laughs> Looks bad anyway. I don't even know how to talk about it because it's just a whole bunch of bullshit in it. Got Emma Thompson in as someone. The old Cruella who gets up and <laughs> new Cruella or some shit and is the, the famous guy in it whose name I can't remember because I can't remember what when it is it like. set? 70s 70s London right. it's trying to go for like a punk kind of thing and it's yeah. not coming across properly as a punk at heart it upsets me when's the original films set? No, like way before then I think so is this like it- Emma Joker. Thompson playing... It's the Joker. The original Cruella de Vil. No, she's playing like someone who's not Cruella. They've just updated it to the 70s. Why? It's an origin story about a character that was set in a different time period. Okay. It's not like the Joker, because the Joker's got like 10 million fucking versions of himself. This, they were trying to ape the Joker. Phenomenon. I hate them. All right, should we move on? It's just pissing me off. Next trailer, though. This looks good. Invincible. On Amazon Prime, I believe. Yes. TV anime from Shit. Robert Kirkman. Well, adapted off Robert Kirkman's Great comic. The Walking Dead, yes. Yes. For those who don't know the name. It came up and I'm like, oh, don't like him. He's a bit annoying, isn't he? He's carried on the TV show for way too long. Um, but yeah, this looks cool. It's about a superhero teenager who's like, I want to be like my dad because he's J.K. Simmons. Who's a very good super dad hero. And it's just by him learning how to be a superhero, isn't it? And then some weird shit happens at end. It was like two trailers for this. Mm. Like an origin tale of this kid um, honing his abilities, um, making his parents proud, blah, 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 school life. His friend finds out, having to keep his identity thing, joins a team of other like teen superheroes and then a bunch of hyper violent weird shit happens at the end yeah. where he's getting the shit beat out of him by a guy with a hammer a bunch of people get killed it was tonally very different the shift mm. was <laughs> quite quite sudden and major yeah 
Bit weird, but not it? Yeah. So I don't know what's happening there. Who knows, eh? It looks good, though. I like all the <laughs> violence and blood. I'm, I'm certainly intrigued. Mm. I was intrigued by the, it anyway, but then when that all happened, I was like, oh, nice. now my interest is definitely caught. I like when he's learning to fly. I mean, he doesn't know how to land, so he just face plants straight into the ground. It's, it's always fun. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's Invincible. I don't know if we said the name of the trailer. But yeah, Invincible. Go watch it, boys. March, I think. Mid-March it's coming out. Um, right, let's go on to the news here with the trailers. I know we've only got four, but fuck you, bitch. There were loads of game trailers, but fuck Nintendo and fuck Blizzard. Let's go on to the news. Boom, straight off the top, let's have some rumours. We've got some Marvel rumours, matey L. Have we now? Yes. Doctor Strange, the multiverse of madness, is rumoured to introduce the Illuminati. Oh. With Professor X, Namor, and Mr. Fantastic. Well, well. well. Leaders. What do you think about that? I mean, I'd, I'd be stoked as fuck to see them. But... Odd way to introduce them, though. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm thinking, yeah. yeah. Especially as, like, this group. If it had, like, different characters. <laughs> I don't know. Because Professor X, obviously, they're all... Except for Neymar, they're all already in big groups, aren't they? <coughs> yeah. So it's a, bit, it's a bit weird. Just change the characters around and I'll have some Illuminati shit. I mean, who else could they have, though, is the issue. Ghost Rider. Right. <laughs> Aaron. Um, someone who we might talk about later, but you don't know this yet, because I didn't tell you last night. <laughs> um... <laughs> Captain Marvel rumoured to be in Thor 4, Thor 4, apparently the rumour is that, do you know in Far From Home when they're like, what about Captain Marvel? She's off world. Apparently she's going to be training up Lady Thor or some shit. Right. We don't want her to be in any Marvel films, to be honest. Next rumour, well last rumour, Jennifer Lawrence (laughs) rumoured to be Sue Storm. In the Fantastic Four reboot. I don't think anyone wants us. Speaking about Fantastic Four though, there's a uh, easter egg to John Krasinski in uh, WandaVision's latest episode. Is that? Mm. Is it relating to The Office? Shut your mouth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah <it's... laughs> um, next bit of news. Marvel regained the rights to Punisher and Jessica Jones. Nice. Mm. Put the Punisher in the Illuminati. Put the Punisher in Spider Man. <laughs> Spider Man. See, that's why they couldn't do it, obviously, because they didn't have the rights. But now. Yeah, they they knew they were getting the rights. The film's not out yet. They might still put him in, mate. Charlie Cox is in it, so let's have some Punisher and Daredevil action in Spider Man. That'd be cool. Um, last bit of Marvel news Danny Elfman is doing the score. To Doctor Strange, Multiverse of Madness. I'm down for that. Danny Elfman's cool. Did the wanted score. It's a good song. Have you heard the new? I might rewatch that film. Just for that one scene where he whacks Chris Pratt with a fucking keyboard. It's not as bad as the game, though. The game's fun. The game is god awful. (laughs) But you get to climb through a falling aeroplane. And be like, everything about it, just mechanically to the just the story and the way it looks. God, I hated that game. What I tried to play. I tried to play through all, the an entire game if I get a chance to play it, and I had to stop. I just, Did you not do the Easter eggs where you kill the fat woman and stuff like that, and then you get to play as the fat woman? It's amazing. It sounds it, yeah. <laughs> Right, let's get on to some uh, Star Wars news. Oh. Mena Masoud, didn't pronounce that right, the uh, the Aladdin man in Aladdin, is apparently going to be cast as Ezra in Ahsoka. Why not? Not for it me. looks like him. Racist. Yeah? Not for me. Just keep would... him. Just give me more rebels. Who would you cast as Ezra? Jackie Chan. Next bit, uh, <laughs> next bit of Star Wars news. Ryan Johnson. 
confirms his Star Wars trilogy is still happening. Apparently. <laughs> the fans are loving that. <laughs> I like him. He's a great director. Yeah. He's made Last so Jedi is a good film. Made so many great films. Last Jedi. Yeah. Brick. Looper. I'm so, probably. I've not seen that yet. I need to. I am. Same. We should have a date. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> next bit of Star Wars news. They're not recasting Cara Dune. I don't think they should. They should just kill her off. What did she do in season two? Oh, she sat there and got overshadowed by Sasha Banks. That's what she did. Sasha Banks was shit. <laughs> she did a flippity do on uh, Old DDT. Man, though. She did do a DDT on Old Man Boba. Poor lad. And she sat there and got overshadowed by Ming Na Wen. Ming Na Wen's awesome. She was really good in season two, to be fair. But yeah, this obviously coming off the back of Gina and her very, very stupid decisions in life. Carrying that news on, though, uh, Hasbro <laughs> have cancelled the toys of Cara Doom in response to Gina's firing. They've made season one and two thingies of her and they've stopped production of any more. But I think the ones that have already been made are obviously going to go out to shops and stuff. But, you know, what, what are you, what you going to do when you got a whole bunch of plastic toys? Chuck them in ground. Like they did that one time. They'll be going for ridiculous prices on eBay soon. Fucking scalpers. DC Detective Comics. Sasha Cali is cast as Supergirl. Oh, ho, ho! Yeah, that's right. We're getting a Supergirl, boys. I'm a DCEUUU, DCEU. I'll just have a quick look at who she is. Because. Name, yeah, the name doesn't sound familiar. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go, boys. She's in The Young and the Restless. The fucking soap opera. Uh, 2018 to now. The White Shoes, Final Stop, Deep Cuts, Rogue Tiger. And that's it. Fairly new. Constantine. Reboot is officially happening at HBO Max. Oh. TV show. Leave, leave, blow. I like the guy that they had playing Constantine. Yeah, in the, uh, he was good. It was a good egg. W. Keanu Reeves. Weren't Constantine, were he? But no. He was Decent. still cool, I guess. But we had the... Because there's still, obviously, rumours about the sequel, isn't there? Because yes. Big Boy put it on in, on his Instagram. So, who knows? Who knows what's going to happen? <sighs> um, there's no sequel planned for Zack Snyder's Justice League. Good. So Glad we've come back to up. Confirms it's a one-off... I'm happy now. ...thing that's not going to relate to anything. Pointless is uh, what I would <laughs> All big waste of time, some would say. Yeah. So I don't know how that's going to affect the DCEU. Hopefully it all implodes. Um, dead people, we've just only got let, one. Let me take over DC and then everything just starts Plastic Man because he's the best. There was there was some news about Plastic Man. Um, the guy who voices Sonic in the films, he mm. wants to play Plastic Man. He's not happy. Right, let's let's go on to the dead people. Or dead person, shall we say. Rush Limbaugh. Cunt. Now dead equals a better world. He's not getting any more time in the podcast. He's a nasty, nasty piece of human who's... Why? Because he's a conservative prick who doesn't believe in uh, basic human rights for anybody in the um, gay community, anybody who's a minority, um, women... Um, and, you know, anyone. Anyone who's not a white straight man. Yeah, COVID's not real. Um, supports Trump. Thankfully dead. I do die. Hopefully, uh, painfully. How old was he? 70. Oh, nice. No, too old. Too old. He lived too long. So we've yeah. seen. Yeah. But yeah, that's, uh, that's Rush Limbaugh dead. He had an AIDS update on his radio show, mocking all the people who died from it every week. Nasty man. We do mark people who die, though. <laughs> but not meaningfully. Nasty man. If I could take a shit on his grave, I would. Well, let's go get his grave. Right. Boom, biddy, boom, boom. Rush Limbaugh's dead. Donald Glover and Phoebe Wallabridge to play Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Yes, a TV take adaptation on the uh, Brad Pitt, Angelina Jolie film. Um, Phoebe Wallabridge, for anyone who doesn't know, is uh, she's in Fleabag. She's the creator and former showrunner of Killing Eve. 
She voices the robot in Solo, the droid, possibly. Oh, she? I believe she's quite a major deal in Hollywood at the minute. Um, oh, so, nice. Yeah, you know her and Donald got that weird kind of droid Lando. Roman oh shit! Yeah, kind of thing in Solo. So who knows? Maybe it'll be good. Can't be worse I, than the film. I can see it. I like Donald Glover. Yeah, he's a, he's an absolute lad. I can see it being good. TV yeah. show as well. It's it's a better. I don't like, know if they sneak work. around each that other and stuff. Be a straight up like I don't know if they would adapt it for TV. They'd have to flesh out a lot more of them doing like jobs, I guess. Oh yeah, kind like they probably thing. won't find out the like what are the assassins? Yeah, pretty much. They probably won't find out they're assassins until end of the first season or some shit. Yeah. So it'd be kind of a comedy sneaking around each other trying to. I, I can see it working. Well, it's like a farce in many ways, I guess. Yeah. Well, depending on what angle they want to go down, I guess. That's what angle they go down. Yeah. yeah. Donald Glover's his arsehole. Yes. Yeah. Jumping into it, basically. Like a frog. Fudunk. Fudunk. That's Eva the, Green. That's the noise you make. Yeah. Eva Green, Vincent Cassell, and dot, dot, dot. And another man. <laughs> Three Musketeers. Yeah, they're doing another one. Apparently there's two films in the works. I didn't read the article, I couldn't care less. Two films? I don't know if they're plucking in, you know. Is Eva Green going to be a gender-bended musketeer? Who knows, who knows. What's the best musketeer for them? Fucking none of them. No. It's the Three Musketeers by Disney. No, none of them. Mickey Mouse. The Three Musketeers. Yeah. Um, Dog Tang. Cool well. Dog Tang is the best Three Musketeers. That that latest one's garbage, isn't it? I've not seen any in a long time, to be honest with you. The one with the window blooming. Oh, that's like, like super old now, isn't it? It's like ten years old, I think. Yeah. Oh, they did. Did we do the TV show? That. BBC? Yeah, I remember that being on. Yeah. Because they were doing those. They did that and like Merlin and stuff and Robin Hood, didn't they? They did like quite a few. Yeah. Those kind of things. Talking of those kind of things, though, good segue. Zack Snyder is developing a King Arthur film. How grey is it going to be? Pretty grey. I'd imagine. They didn't have any artificial light in the olden days. They had to use the sun or candles. Uh, sad times. It can't be as bad as that one with Charlie on him. Okay. I've not seen that. The Guy Ritchie one. Yeah. <laughs> Or did he do Jude Robin Hood? Or... as well? I don't know. He probably did both of them. I don't fucking know. He did the Robin Hood with uh, Taron. One of them's got David Beckham in, hasn't it? Is it actually? Yeah. <laughs> God. Apparently he's not very good in it. For the British. Yeah, isn't it? imagine. <laughs> You're not known for his acting. Um, Jesse Plemons. Plays in Thingy Magic, eh? Leo DiCaprio, Dio. That's the one, that very famous person. In Martin Scorsese's Killers of a Flower Moon. It's got a yeah. nice title, that. I do like the title. Uh, that should, we should say Leo's not left the project. He's just decided he wants to be a different character. So he's taken on a smaller a smaller role. He's got power, that kid, hasn't he? And he's like good mates with Martin Scorsese, to be fair. Yeah. They've been making films together since, what, 2002? The first one they made together? Gangs of New York? Is he yeah. in that film? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jesse Plemons. Fat Damon, yeah. I hope this, like, elevates his career, because he's a good actor. Have you seen that Scorsese's um, put out, like, another essay? No. About cinema and yeah. Vard and all this stuff. It's yeah. funny, isn't it? Because um, no one would make The Irishman other than Netflix. <laughs> so... Oh, right. Is he complaining about Vard? He's talking. Um, you'll have to read it. It's it's a it's a thing. It's a shit show. I love Scorsese. He's made some of my favourite films of all time, and I can see where he's coming from. But but also, if you have that stance, don't take two hundred million dollars from Netflix to make the Irish. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Yeah. Ooh. Don't don't sign a deal with. Because this is coming out on Amazon. This latest one. Is it? I'm fairly certain. Jesus. It's got a nice title, though. It does make me think of, like, Japanese stuff, though. Hmm. Shall we move on? Yeah. 
Gareth Evans, raid director. <laughs> Signs exclusive first deal. Deal? First? What have I wrote? Exclusive deal with Netflix to uh, make havoc, starring Tom Hardy. Gareth Evans is great. Don't need to watch the raid and the raid two. When... You do. I own them. Is he raid three? No, we talked about it on a podcast. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Havoc, though. Yes. Um, you get Tom Hardy doing some Kung Fu. Probably not, but the last thing Gareth Evans did was Gangs of London on Sky. Oh, yeah. I've heard a lot of people talk which, about that. Which is, I have sadly don't own Sky, so I haven't had a chance to watch it. Apparently it's very, very brutal. Apparently the action's great. Apparently episode five... Is like one of the greatest pieces of action in televisual history. People Jesus. said if it, people said if it were half an hour longer, it'd be one of the greatest action films of all time. I need to watch it. I'm going to start watching it today. Yeah, I'm going to watch all nine episodes today. What if it's not good though? It will be. It's kind of evidence. I'm excited for this. Though. Have we got any? Have we got any details on the film, or is it just no, being just, announced? Just title and um, Tom Hardy's Tom. star. Yeah, title and Tom. That's all you need to get hyped. Double T. Some more Netflix news though. Wednesday Adams is getting some. Timothy Burton's first foray into television. Is it? Yeah. Do we need it though? Nope. It's about her life at school, mate. Or some shit. Haven't you already done a musical about that? I, I can't tell you. Is it not called The Adams Family Musical? I, I don't know. I think it is. That's the way I, I can't tell you because I don't know. Tim Burton. What Tim... was the last thing Tim Burton did? What was the last good thing Tim Burton did is the question. Sweeney Todd. No, Frank and Weenie. Oh, yeah, the best animated film or some shit. I forgot what he said about it. But... Sure, sure. <laughs> but, last, yeah. What was the last thing Tim Burton did? Was it that peculiar penis as of... Mr. Peregrine's Kids for Purple? Yeah. That, that one. one. Eva Green in. Yeah, maybe. It can't be. That came out ages ago, didn't it? Dumbo? He did Dumbo, didn't oh, he? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it would have been Dumbo. Was that, was that last year, Dumbo? Uh, 2019, I think. Who fucking knows? Certainly not me. Some other news, though. Uh, Train to Busan remake. Take it away, Mr. P. Yes. The Busan in the Busan by the man directed The Night Comes For Us. Starring Joe Talzim. It's on Netflix. Second best film of 2018. James Wan and New Line Cinema. But yeah, Train to Busan remake. With... Um, I'm, ex- I'm actually excited for this now. Is this a Sub-Zero, man? That's it. Yeah. No, yeah. no. No? The guy who's directing it directed Night Comes For Us, which stars Joe Talzin. Oh, right, okay. It's on Netflix. Second best film of 2018. Yeah. I weren't listening or looking at Dumbo. Everyone should go and watch that, because it's fucking awesome. Um, But I'm... I'm not the biggest fan of uh, Americanized remakes, but they've got a great director on board. Yeah. So maybe it might be good and not shit. It will be. Good and not shit. No, it will be shit. Right, okay. <laughs> um, David Boreens. Is that how you say, him, say his name? Boreanis. Uh, Boreanis. Uh, Borealis. Angel from Buffy. Uh, he's broke his silence on the Joss Whedon allegations. All he said was, I am here for you to listen and support you. Proud of your strength. Weird how they weren't this supportive when she got fired. Mm. <laughs> many, many moons ago. Mm. I think they were scared, weren't they? Yeah, I bet he's got a massive dick, Joss Whedon, and he uses it to put people down. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's what people say when they see it. Yeah. Like, fucking hell. Why part of fucking African village with that bad boy? Uh, next bit of news. Transformers. The uh, next live action film. It's got a working title. Beast Alliance. Don't like that. They're going down the, uh, the animals. Don't like that at all. We don't need another one. Next bit of news. Gremlins. Secret of the Mog- Mogwai. Mogwai. Yeah. Adds Ming-Na Wen. Excellent. Be wrong. What? Pretty wrong. <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna get, that's gonna get fucked. Jesus. BD Wong and oh James Hong as well. Who else we got? Who else is in this? Um, that Matthew guy. Matthew is it Reese? Reese. Reese. Yeah. 
Um, Ming Na Wen will play young Sam Wing's mother. Right, okay. Fong Wing, <laughs> who is described as a doctor of Chinese medicine, who is resourceful, slyly funny, and fiercely protective of her family. B.D. Wong will play her husband, Han. He's characterized as a calm rock that has never believed in his father-in-law's tales of magic and adventure. <laughs> James Hong will play Grandpa, and Matthew Reese is on board as a villainous Riley Green, a power-hungry English industrialist and treasure hunter who wields black magic that is determined to stop at nothing in his pursuit of Gizmo and the mythical treasure of the Mogwai. Gizmo will be voiced by A.J. Locascio from Voltron Legendary Defenders. All of what you just said was very awkward there. I enjoyed it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, uh, an animated uh, prequel series for HBO Max. You excited? You like Gremlins? I like Gremlins, but I couldn't care less. Uh, one thing that you do care about, Paddington 3 officially moving forward. On the choo-choo train of the bear. Just excellent news, because the first two are fucking awesome. I think I've seen the first one. Is the first one where he goes down on the bathtub? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I've seen that one. They both make me cry. You're just a bitch, aren't you? Yeah, for Paddington. <laughs> they're, so, they're so good, man. Yeah. He just wants the family to be loved. All right, mate. It's okay. It's good shit. And the last bit of news. Edgar Wright. Directing the Running Man adaptation. Sure. Should we get on to a big pineapple? <laughs> yeah. Very underwhelming last bit of news there, but it's what happens, isn't it? When you've got o to. Opani's in it. Let's do the big pineapple. Let's do the big pineapple. This big pineapple is brought to you by the Penis Extender. It's just my hand. It's a new thing that we've got to do every episode now. Yeah. You need an extender, we'll lend a hand. Nice. And it's just a chopped off hand in a box that comes in. Yeah. Out. Yeah. Comes in a range of colours. White, black, or Asian. What about half cast? No. Don't believe in them. <laughs> right, let's let's get on to this big pineapple. Fast and Furious. We're doing Fast Five and Furious Six. He's Would you like to else. give the people at home an update on our previous ratings? Ratings. Because I cannot remember mine off the top of my sweet hole. <sighs> Can't find them. Alrighty then, let's carry on. <laughs> I'm sure we gave them none of them seven. That's all that matters. None got, none got seven. Um, right, Fast Five is the first one we're going to talk about. Do you want to hear some statical annihilations? Only always. Uh, 7.3 out of 10 on IMDb. That's insane. 77% on Rotten Tomatoes. 3 out of 5 on Common Sense. 93% like this film on Google. Release date, 21st of April 2011. <laughs> Director, Justin Lin. Featured song, Danza Kudoro. Sure. Nice, nice. Uh, budget 125 million US dollars. Box office, you ready? 626 million US dollars. Big boy number that. That is a big boy number. I contributed right. to that number. You're the reason they get to make these shit films. Damn right. <laughs> Should we do a little overview of the plot? Go on then, go on then. It's after the fourth. <laughs> Ben's going to prison. No, he's not. Break him out. Steal some cars. Mexican man. He's not Mexican. South American man. Gang lord. Dwayne, policeman. Hunting down. Things happen. Is that good? Get the gang together. Steal some cash. Mm. One mm. last job. Yes. All right. Pros. Do you want me to go first? Yeah, go on then. Um, It's an interesting way of stealing cars, isn't it? When they cut the oh, whole the... side of a train and muck yeah. one and grab them. It reminded me of the magnet scene in the oh, oh it's trailer. trailer. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I'm guessing that's for stealing cars. And you need to move your phone away from your microphone, mate. Oh, is it? Is it rustling? It's making some noisy noises. Is it like... <laughs> yes, it is. 
Um, but yeah, it's cool. Um, straight up murder. Vin Diesel just kills someone, didn't he? Who did he kill? The guy who was like, "I'm going to shoot you because you've betrayed us." On the when they're stealing cars, and when he chucks him out oh, of the train, God. and he smacks his head on that fucking. Oh, that looks brutal, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, a lot of time for that. On the like post, the train because they're on a train, obviously, and it's going choo choo down a track, and there's a post, and he chucks a guy, he smacks his head on the post, and it's. I was like, all right, he's a murderer now. No qualms. Uh, the Rock, just because he, he's there, and he. I went, hey, The Rock. He dropped an F bomb. I forgot what he said now, though. Um, stay the fuck out of my way, maybe, to the yeah. Brazilian cop. Oh yeah, because he's big, hard man. That's his character. Uh, I like the standoff between um, the gang and the Rock's squad mm. when they first enter the what are they called favela. That's the one. The slums. Uh, yeah, that's just funny. When we're all like, "Yo, we got guns," and then the Rock's like, "I got guns," because he's got big arms. We don't say that, but that would have been funny. Um, it's funny watching The Rock run, just because he's a very big man. He's a, he's a large gentleman, that is that is a fact. Him and Vin Diesel trying to do free running across them fucking rooftops. It's it's just a lot of running and jumping, it's not really free running. That is what free running is, running and yeah, jumping. Yeah, but it, it, free runners make it look cool, you know what I mean? I mean, Vin Diesel can't make anything look cool. <laughs> he's a big egg, isn't he? Um, saggy, saggy egg man. I like the flying punch from Paul Walker. Otherwise known as Brian O'Connor, it just looks good. He's he's really good at that punch. He overuses it though, because the next note is, "Oh no, he did it twice. He ruined it." And he does it in the next one. Fucking flying punch. Play. Uh, I liked the ludicrous and Tyrese banter for a bit. I liked undercover Tyrese. Ty- it's ju- they just in every film they've got to just give him little jobs to do, or there's no point in him being in the film. Yeah. They're like make a dick of yourself in this scene. Okay. Uh, I liked it when The Rock was shitting all over Vin Diesel and Paul Walker. When he went about yellow class criminals, mate. I'm the fucking Rock, boys! And then my last pro. Not got many pros. <laughs> um, I like The Rock versus Vin Diesel. It was a very good fight. Very nice. Big, big boys doing big boy things. It was a very big boys. I liked it when he threw him through the thing. It reminded me of Kurt Angle trying to throw shame at man through the thing. I mean, got on top of him with a wrench and went doosh. And it was we on about how in the contracts they're only allowed to show like the same injuries on him and shit like that. Yeah, I think it might not have stemmed from this one for it personally. They, the only injury they both had was the cut like on top of the eyebrow. And I was like, oh. Now I remember what you were talking about with the because they can't they can't make each other look weak or something. Yeah, it's, um, egos being egos. Yeah, egos being ego boy things. In a real um, way, it'd probably just rinse Vin. To be fair. Oh yeah, for sure. Vince, Vince, <laughs> Vince, not even like that big anymore. He was big in the first film, but his arms aren't big in this. He's just kind of a saggy egg. He's just fat. Yeah. Fat, bad actor. Mm. Fat actor. Bad actor. Nice. Tractor. Extractor fan. Mm. Steam. Mold. Vin Diesel. Old. Granddad dick. So old. <laughs> so very old. Do you want to do your pros then? Yes, sir. Or madam. Oh. Um, I like that Perd Hackley was one of the newscasters when they're talking about the... Uh, the breakout, the prison breakout at the beginning. You're a nerd, you are. You? Why? Recognising that one character. It weren't playing Perd Apley, but because th- that actor plays like newscasters in like everything. Oh, is that his, is that his thing? Yeah. yeah. Oh, nice. I always like that, actually. Rio, nice change of locale mm. yeah, to the other fucking Latin looking places they've been in. Yeah. Every single film. Gosh, Here we go. Know. He can't read, guys. It's what's his face from the first film. I like that he was in it. Vince, Vance, Lance. Oh, shit. What I mean, so that's what, right. I had two pros and now reading them like, what the fuck do they mean? 
I put ooh, still bad board. And that's obviously between Brian and Vince. Is it Vince? Vince Vance Lance, I believe, is his name. Right. And I put, ooh, the prick is still right though, isn't he? About him being a cop and not trusting him in the first film. And then he's, you know, he's just, he's like the smartest character in the whole franchise. No one listens to him. Carry on. Um, she's pregnant with a baby. She is. That means that they had sex. Uh-huh. <laughs> you like the thought of a fucking a dead man. Yeah. I like the fact they do real stunts in this film. I mean, they don't do anything, do For the most part. Um, I know, I'm not talking about the actors. <laughs> I mean, I like the use of actual stunt teams and not just... You know what, I'll put that as one of my pros as well, because, yeah. Um, and that's relating to... The first real stunts we get in it are the um, the stuff on the train and that, you know. It's just some good good shit. Uh, why did I put... Uh... <laughs> I don't know. Um, Dwayne's in it. He is, isn't it? He turned this franchise around. Made it the big thing it is today. Mm. Yes, yes. I like the F-bomb. Always fun. Um, I like the translator lady for reasons. Tits. Yeah. Mm. I like the favela chase, I think. Oh, she is pregnant. Oh, she, she's not told Brian yet. Oh, all right. <laughs> I, was, I was Brian in that scenario. Uh we're gonna need a team. It's always a fun line in every <laughs> every film, isn't it? Uh, and then I just wrote "Ooh, banter," because they just banter, oh, banter with, boys, with, aren't with, they? Yeah. That's me. I just wrote "poop" down there. I'm not sure what that relates to. The oh, <laughs> they blow up the toilet. Yeah. That was me, because that one guy got poop on him. Yeah. Han in love. I'm a fan of Han in love. That line makes no sense. That is not a con. That is not a pro, even. <laughs> um, I like the big boy fight. I like all the action in this, actually, pretty much. I think, as I said, the stunt work, especially, and stuff. Um, when they finally captured them after the big boy fight, mm. and, you know, they've got the convoy going, and they get attacked by the the cartel's men and stuff, Yeah. and all his team gets killed, he says um, ham- ambush, Dwayne does, and that made me think about a bush that grows ham and how cool that would be. <laughs> so, um, so, so you're praising this film. Ham bush. <laughs> because Dwayne can't articulate, right? <laughs> ham bush. <laughs> it made you... Okay. It made me think of a ham bush. If you're stretching for pros like that, it just tells you that it's not a good film. Um, Vince dies. I don't like that. Neither do I. I don't know why I said it. <laughs> There's one good reason why I don't like that as well. Because he's a man? No. I'll, I'll get on to it. Um, at one point they say, this is big boy stuff. And I liked that line. Because we <laughs> talked about big boys doing big boy things. We do like big boys. Um, I love all the safe pulling because it was all real and shit. For the, for the most part, <sighs> it was real. Um, I like the way that the, the main guy, the main bad guy dies. When the car like lands it into it, mm. and so he's got. Well, he don't die then, and then Dwayne just like shoots him. Yeah, I had a lot of time for that. Eva Mendes is in the post credit scene. She is. I didn't watch that. You know, and then I just wrote, Ooh, it as... "It's Letty." And there is there is more. You know, they do have good chemistry as a as a group, except from the, you know, Vin, <laughs> who's got the charisma of a used napkin. Yeah. You know. He can't um, talk, can he? His voice is so yeah. weird. And the action's just... I like the action. It's really good. I like the banter between the two Brazilian boys as well, or wherever they're from. You know, the people who do all the like stuff with the toilets and that. They're the most out-of-place characters in any franchise ever. I agree. I agree. We're going to cons. Yeah. I can't, I can't really remember this film, you know. I'm looking at my cons and I'm like, what? Um, the first one, bus should have flattened Paul Walker. I can't remember that bit. When's there a bus? At the beginning, when they break him out of the prison bus thing. Oh, yeah. Sure. Hey, it's that prick. Um, don't know who that's about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, right. When, when they're in the train mm. and they're planning to betray each other, and he's like, Wait here, and I'll give you the signal. 
And then the other guys are like basically saying, yeah, we'll kill them after we get the cars. They're, they're right next to them. They'd be able to hear them. They spoke it in a foreign language. Vin didn't. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Jesus Christ. Um, the, DA, the DA agents on that train are fucking stupid. Yeah, you know, they just basically just walk past them and just read in newspapers, like, mm. and then when the explosion goes off, like, oh, people live up in the train. <laughs> just annoyed me. They didn't even need to be in the film. I didn't see the point of it. You're, just right. not, the, you're not seeing the bigger picture. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone involved in the car crash train is dead. Did the car crash into a train? <laughs> uh, the little ramp truck did. With Paul Walker in it. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then there was the world's tiniest explosion. Yeah, when Paul Walker was dangling with one arm. And, yeah, he should have died, shouldn't he? Just like Paul and Vin should have died as soon as they hit the water. When they jump off the car into the water off a bridge that's many metres high. The, the villain, the bad guy, is the worst. He's... <laughs> <laughs> He's like the blandest bad guy that they've had so far. But there's a reason to that, obviously, because Hobbs is kind of the other guy that's the bad guy because he's chasing him down and that. But the, the Latino Brazilian man is just... He's just bad, isn't he? The Rock can't act in this film. He can't. <laughs> he's so bad. He's so... He's like what John Cena is in the... Bumblebee film, the one-toned army man, and it's just a bit annoying. He's he gets better, but this is his obviously his first step into the franchise. But the chase through the fucking I don't, I don't want to do this. It's a bad chase, mate. It is. It's I mean, got compa- nothing, compared- nothing on the Incredible Hulk. Oh, compared to that Hong Kong cinema and stuff, yeah, it's bad. But it's just they're just running on top of rooftops. Not even doing cool flips and stuff. Because she's pregnant with a baby. Not them. <laughs> Big saggy egg man who's just literally running him and he just falls up onto an X building. The rock jumps through a window and does a roll. That's about as exciting as it gets. And then he looks back and it's that fucking Civil War moment with Black Panther and Bucky and shit. Um, Paul and his... His bitch are dead. When they fall through the bu- the baby's dead. When they fall through the the ceiling. Um, we can't keep running. He hasn't said that before, has he? <laughs> they have a little daddy moment where we're talking about their dads because Brian's going to become a dad. It's just it's nonsense, isn't it? One last job. <laughs> Putting capital letters. Every film is the same. I think we got a bit annoyed at that point. Hey, the two Spanish cunts. Right. Tyrese says, 11 million. Sounds like a lot of... <laughs> sounds like a whole lot of vaginal action to me. Yep. He does say, he certainly <laughs> does say that. <laughs> the Rock finds a missing part in the car straight away. Very much like Detective Vin, but... CSI Dwayne. CSI Dwayne. <laughs> you know? And because he apparently likes to waste a lot of time when he's just like, oh, you guys are rubbish. Let me take a look. Found it. The toilet scene. He have... gets covered in poop. <laughs> they have poop humour in this film. <laughs> what, is, what is wrong with this film? He's so good. Oh, when, um, who says it to him? Someone says to Brian, keep that on the, oh no, someone's talking to Brian about how he was a cop. And he says, keep that on the low. But then they continue to shout about how he used to be a cop. I think it, it might be Vin, but they're in a situation. I can't remember this film. I think I've literally blanked this film out of my mind. Oh, it's in the... When they go to do the race. Yeah. And he's like, oh, it's you and your cop. He's like, keep that on the low. No, you're a cop. <laughs> fucking... And then they skip the race. They skip the fucking race. It's called Fast Five, for fuck's sake. There's hardly any car action. That's not how you get a handprint. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Heather was watching this part and she was like, if you're annoyed now, just wait. <laughs> just wait and see how they get this handprint. And I'll like, cut the guy's hand off or something. 
No, Gal Gadot goes in there, right? He's a man. <laughs> Watch me work my magic. Puts his hand on her ass, and they use <laughs> use the bikini bottoms to to get the handprint off. I hate this film. Oh, mate, I love it. The Rock's accent, right? Is he supposed to be like southern? Because it, it it varies from like being just your generic American accent to swaying a bit southern at times. And I'm like, I put macho macho men. Because they were just trying to outman each other at every fucking step, aren't they? But I'm sick of saying he would have died. Fuck off, he just climbed into the car without a scratch on him. <laughs> the Rock is such a fucking joke in this film. <laughs> Oh, that's um, that's when Vince dies. Oh yeah. He literally just it it doesn't show him getting hurt or anything. No, it doesn't. And then he just gets into the car when they're all going away. Like he hasn't got a scratch on him. And then the next scene, he's got a massive fucking gaping I'm hole in him. Oh, I'm dead. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> they must have changed their mind when they got to that scene. Oh wait, this pricking dead yet? We need someone to die in this film. It literally, because they're like, come on, let's go. And Vince is there, and he just turns around and hops in the car like nothing. And he gets in the passenger seat of the car, and next scene, he's like down in the back of it. But, oh, so, so when Pirates of the Caribbean take a vault, it's fucking stupid. But when Fast and Furious do it, it's cool, is it? What? Yeah. What? what? Take a what? vault in Pirates of the Caribbean. Sure, do they? In the latest one. Oh, sure. Yeah. Everyone What's complained that? about it then, didn't they? Did they? Yeah. Oh, right. Sure. Car flip lamppost. Oh, yeah. Lamppost classic. falls down. Classic. <laughs> am I right? Just classic. The car just fucking... It flies as soon as it hits that lamppost. One car can pull that safe. Give me that fucking bullshit. He uses his nose bottles. As soon as he did that, mate, the half, the back half of the car would have just ripped off. <laughs> wheelie car, wheelie car. I don't even care if it was an empty safe. Fucking piece of shit. Oh, there's a Vanguard moment. Is there? Mm. The guy decides to use a minigun in the van right at the end. Is that what that's forever going to be known as now? Whenever that happens... Pulling a yeah. vanguard. And then car physics only work when Vin wants them to. That's when the car obviously gets fucked up by the ball. You know, when Vin's safely away from the car. That's all my cons, mate. That took a while, didn't it? Yep, yeah. you ready? Mm. Bus crash, Vin's dead. Cliff jump, dead. Mm. Favela chase jump, dead yes. or at least severely injured and miscarried baby. The banter gets too much, doesn't it, every now and then? <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's a line that makes no sense and I can't remember what it is I wish I wrote it down but I didn't um, handprint scene don't send a man to do a woman's job prestige to strip off um, <laughs> you know don't like Dwayne's beard it's a weird beard isn't it yeah I forgot about his beard until I rewatched it the pacing's a little bit shaky in the film there's a couple of dodgy CG bits Vin Diesel can't act yeah so, um, summaries. The Rock is bad in this film. This film has hardly any car action. There's what? loads of car action in it. When? Uh, the stuff with a the train. There's cars in that. It's they're, more... drift they're drifting around the circuit. There's still some cop cars and have that cop car I chase. can't say drifting around the circuit. It's fucking... Car action. Safe stuff. It's... Cars there. Right, the train stuff is Paul dangling from the train for... A good five minutes and then deciding when he wants to loads, go loads of car stuff give me loads of fucking cars carry on poor bad guy because of the hub situation he's better it's than, just a... it's better than the bad guy in four all the films have bad bad guys bad bad guys yeah bad bad guys until seven which one was four four was the shit one oh Mexico. the the mo yeah um i just found it bland uh and that fucking safe can go suck a dick. But there was a good fight between The Rock and Vin. So I'll give it that. And the stunt work. What did you put? I forgot to write one. Yeah. So I'll make it up. Great stunt work. <laughs> <laughs> it 
idiotic plot. Big boys doing big boy things. Don't send a man to do a woman's job. I'm glad the Letty's not in this film. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good transitional film because this is still somewhat grounded in reality for the most part. But it's it's truly the start of, of the absolute bombastic craziness. Everyday Avengers that they turn into um, kind of thing. It's still grounded enough in reality to seem plausible. For an action film, yeah. Yeah, you know. And that's why it's my favourite of the series. That makes no sense. Why does it make no sense? Your summary was <laughs> big boys doing big boy things. Yeah. And the stunt work's good. Yeah. I gave it 1.5. That, that is absolutely ridiculous. Yeah. That is a travesty. Um, what would you give it? Wait, well, you know what I'll give it? Don't. <laughs> Please. No, I've, I've given it 6 out of 7. 1.5, are you mad? It's a bad film. It's not. It's it far from a bad film. It's a bad film. You believe Fast and Furious is better than this? Yeah. Fucking idiotic. That's all that is. Oh, what do I give Fast and Furious? You yeah. get punched in the head as a kid. <laughs> I gave it a two, didn't I? I'll give it a two then. It's Je on par. Jesus wept. And I know you're going to give Fast Six a better score. Yeah. Of course I am. It's a better film. Because it's got that smelly bitch in. No. It's got that gay man in. Oh, the gay man. Yeah. Should we get on to it then? Are you ready? I am. Do you want some stats? <laughs> Go on then. Fast and Furious 6. 7 out of 10 on IMDb. 70% on Rotten Tomatoes. 2 out of 5 on Common Sense. 91% of this film likes on Google by people. Uh, release date 17th of May 2013. Justin Lin directed it. Much like the one previous play. We Own It is a featured song. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, budget 160 million US dollars. And a box office of 788 million US dollars. Big boy numbers. Big boy numbers. All right, go on then. You're first. Um, they have a cute baby, Brian mm. and uh, Mia. I like the way he's playing with a car, you know, but yeah. it's cute. Oh, don't love a cheeky montage, you know, in the title <laughs> sequence, mate. Oh, look, it's Gina no Job Carano. Remember when she were in things? Better beard on Hobbs this time round. Mm. Um, nice bit of side boob from Translator Lady there. Highlight of the film for me, that. When uh, Hobbs tells Vin we need your team, I like him sort of all the team getting back together sequences bits, mm. but mostly the Han and uh, Giselle bits. And I just want a spin off of Han and Giselle's adventures in Tokyo. Uh, well, we're never going to get that. Um, Spoilers. Because I just want those. Throwaway line about Leo and Santos. They were like, how can we can we find a way to show on them in this film? No, we'll just put a throwaway line in. No. You know, so that's why is that a positive? I don't know. We didn't even say about Ludacris's fucking Oh, I had a life before you met me. That's the reason why I'm a tech genius. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They like it. They do they do just like throwaway lines, don't they? Yeah. Um it's my boy Joe from the raid. Sadly underused. Um, I like it when um, Vin gets shot by Letty, mm. who's, in, who's in this film, and then he he takes the bullet out himself without the need of um, anesthesia or going to an actual you know hospital. Mm. So I called him Dr. Vin Medicine Woman, and that made me laugh um, because there's a TV show called Dr. Quinn Medicine Woman. Nice. <laughs> I was like, yes. So that's also that's a pro and a con, that one. Mm. Mostly just because I like the pun I made. I hated the bit in the film. Oh, we don't need a hospital, right? Yeah. <laughs> and then I just cut, wrote in, oh, it's the man from the raid. I like the fight between him and Han and whatever Tyrese's character's called, Roman. Roman. Where yeah. they just get the shit kicked out of him. That was fun. Very, they underused him, but I enjoyed it nonetheless. Uh, I, can't, I think I like the way it tries to tie into, like, four and three. Oh, with the... Uh... With all the stuff, I, I think I did. Oh, it's him from Four. Four. Um, bad guy. What's his I, name? Shea Wingham's his real name. Isn't it like Pog? It's like the agent guy from Four. Oh, that guy. Yeah. 
I like the way he gets his nose the... broke again. Yeah. Um, I thought he meant the um the bad guy. Oh, I, I do say I am again. Yeah. Prison prison bit. Um there's a street race in this film. Yeah, there is. Retor just being in it out of nowhere. He's yeah. <laughs> both <laughs> pro and a con. Um the, there's some decent action in this film, but this is where it starts to like ramp up the sort of ridiculousness <laughs> to um, yeah. Um they mentioned going to Tokyo, Gal and uh, Han, you know, and settling down. Um I like all their stuff throughout this. Poor Han, just he's when then he's beating the shit out of that guy, it's just emotional stuff. And then Deckard Shaw's in it. I didn't really write that many pros apparently. <laughs> so You want me to go then? Is that what you're saying? That's a race. Is that? Yes. <laughs> uh that's uh right at the start with um, um Vin and Paul. You know, having a dick measuring contest. Uh, Dwayne's got a lot better in his acting. It's probably because he shaved his beard off, you know. That's what we're really making him shit. Uh, I like the interrogation scene uh, oh. where he just beats the shit out of that guy and throws him against the uh, the mirror glass thing. Uh, that's Hobbs, by the way. Um, I like how Dom's actually got kind of an emotional motivation in this film. Mm. That being getting let back and stuff. It's cool. Um, like uh, I like the setting of London as well. It's a, it's a different feel to a uh, Latino kind of out of the city kind of feel that they've had quite a bit. Uh, I like Evan's little car. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. With the little flippity do on the front. It's like a little kit car, isn't it? It's like yeah, it's it's cute in ways. Snappy little yeah number, isn't it? Yeah, it it turns very well. Um. I like the car chase, I like the EMPs that they put onto the cars. Oh, they're pretty cool. I mean, he should have died, Tyrese. They all should be dead. Yeah. <laughs> I like how the bad guys in this are just like a rival group with parallels to the... Yeah. I mean, I don't like it when we'll get onto that. But, um, I like the line, show them the respect they deserve or it weakens us. It's pretty cool by... Uh, Deckard, Deckard Shaw. No, Deckard Shaw is All right. Statham. What's, this what's is um, this is baby brother Shaw. <laughs> baby brother I'm, Shaw. I'm not sure what his first name is. Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw. No, he's a footballer. No, his name's Luke Evans. Yeah, Luke Shaw. <laughs> Luke Shaw plays for Man United. <laughs> I think they just call him Shaw, don't they? He's probably going. Yeah, just, just Shaw. Shaw. Um, I like I like one of the planning scenes. Because it's just all car talk, and it sounds That's like it actually makes sense. There's once. a lot of jargon being thrown about, isn't there? Yeah, and it's not like, I don't know, it just seems like, it's probably because I didn't know anything about cars, but it felt the, the most naturalistic and fluid kind of planning scene that I've seen. seen. Um, Han shooting down Tyrese. Um, when they're talking about um, putting a ring on a finger... And then he's like, oh, yeah. He's got to give a big rock or have a big cock, essentially. And then he's like, oh, is that why all your girls have got so much bling? Yeah. Han's cool, man. Um, he's, the like best, he's the best character in all of them. I like it when they strip the English prick. Oh, yeah. Hobbs and uh, Ludacris are like, take off your clothes. It's a, bit, it's a bit odd, but it's just funny, isn't it? I liked the fight between the raid guy and Tyrese and Han because them two can't fight it's obvious i mean it's weird because in too fast too furious obviously tyrese is supposed to be like the new vin essentially in that film so he's he's quite aggressive and he can fight in this he's not good at <laughs> fighting he's the comedy uh character oh yeah um, but it is it's it's a cool kind of slapsticky esque fight I like the handshake between Hobbs and the security surveillance guy. No, yeah, the handshake. Where it's like, why are all the cameras down? It wouldn't be you, would it? <laughs> Crushing his hand. I like, I liked the big veins in the Rock's arms. To be fair, more than anything, it's busted nose man again. He busted his nose again. <laughs> it's a nice little callback. Um, I liked Tyrese with his big harpoon, where he nearly impales Vin. That's always fun. If only he did. I know. I liked the cell 
uh, scene between O'Connor and the Mexican bad guy. None of it made sense. And I liked uh, shanking time. Oh, I love a good shank. I actually made a shank once. It was pretty brutal, to be fair. They were like, tell me, shank, tell me your friend. <laughs> I want a shank I mean, I'm good at making them. Wait, yeah, why did you make a shank? Oh, to scare my housemate. I love him dearly, but I, I love messing with him. Made it out of a toothbrush. I was going to put a blade in it, but I couldn't find my blades. So I just had to improvise. Um, <laughs> I liked the street race between Vin and... I put Vin and man, Michelle Rodriguez. I can't, I did, as cringy as it was, I kind of liked the stories be, between them with the scars and stuff. Oh, it, it was kind of cute in a manly way. They just sap the energy out of every scene they're in. But they, if it's only them two in the scene... <laughs> then everything just fades to black. <laughs> Much tank murder. Oh, yeah. He, a tank he's got no qualms about killing hundreds of civilians. He I loves, love it. He's got no qualms, mate. Just running over cars like... <laughs> he just have that cheeky glint in his eye, doesn't he, when he's... He uh, does. Mowing them down. <laughs> um... Double crossing sneaky. Ooh. That was a response to uh, Shaw's plan, where he was like, I wanted you to get me and stuff. But then I put, ooh, other sneaky. When Gina, first time I've mentioned her, because she's not good. <laughs> she's <laughs> Shaw's bitch, isn't she? That actually got me a bit. I was like, that's quite of a twist, actually. Um, I just put big boy. Oh, that's the big boy. In the, in the plane bit? I'm yeah. Sure. He's, a, he's a large gentleman. Like, he is. Think, oh, the rock is a big boy. And you're like, shit, he's, he's a, a big boy. Big, big boy. I liked the diving headbutt from uh, Vince. That's the best. Vince? Vin. That's the best thing he's done in the franchise. I don't um, know. I don't know, mate. He's got some banging lines in this. <laughs> uh, there's some nice kicks from Luke Evans' stunt double. In this yeah, film. Uh, I liked it. I like I like the fist fights in this. To be fair, they're fun. There's some good action in it. I There's liked some good action. I liked it when Gina got harpooned out of the plane. Put a big smile on my face. Her tits put a big smile on my face because the rest of her not so much. <laughs> Han is the least silly character, and he's in the least silly things in the franchise, and that's why he's the best. He's so he's, good. He's still cool as fuck without having to be like, look how cool I am jumping from a fucking truck onto a car. He's just always eating. All he does, in like the most silly thing he does, is help Gal Gadot get into that car in this film. And it, it, well, he's on top of them two cars, I guess, when they're being lifted up. But he beats the shit out of that guy, doesn't he? And I love it when he. Oh, he serves. Give me their adventures, Han and Gal. I, I, I like how they had the balls to kill off Gal, to be fair. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then the line, hide that big old forehead at the end. And it's ad-libbed, like you said. That's why he spit his drink out. Mm. I, I know listen about to you. Curious. Yeah. That's my prose. Um, there's a lot of bad actors in this film. Wait, is he prose? No, I'm on cons, aren't I? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Shaves his beard off, doesn't he? Wait, what? Why is that a cunt? <laughs> don't know. It's just a lot of beard action. <laughs> you know? Oh, do you mean he shaves it even more? Not yeah. from. He shaves it from the last film. He shaves yeah. it. It's not existent. Yeah. yeah. It confused me when I saw it. I was like, oh, he's got no face. Yeah. Characters in films don't usually change how they look. Yeah. Um, why is everyone attracted to Vin Diesel's character? He's just a flabby, flabby man. Um, I wrote that Michelle Rodriguez definitely smells in real life. <laughs> <laughs> um, she has that look about her. Yeah. You know? Just a wash. Um, it's a shame that Leo and Santos weren't in this. It's not. It is. It is. <laughs> shit characters. <laughs> um, I just want more Han and Gal. Joe Talislam's underused. Dr. Vin Medicine Woman <laughs> again. You know? The ties to Forum Free do seem a bit tacked on and sort of very forced kind of thing. As much as I liked what they were trying to do, getting everything together kind of thing, 
It is a bit forced. The him getting in and out of prison bit makes no sense. It wouldn't work. Retor is in it. God, I hate Finn. I just wrote that a lot. Tank Finn jump. <laughs> it just, it's just it's fucking idiotic, isn't it? Um, amnesty and pardon. Once, no, he, no. once we let him leave this room, those words are out of the window or whatever. Vin's rebuttal to that. Those words went out since the day we were born. The fuck does that even mean? <laughs> you, you've got to wear a white vest and have a bald head to understand, mate. The fuck does that even mean? They... I think he's going for he was a criminal when he was born, so... The fuck does it even mean? <laughs> <sighs> There's just... It's... It's... Uh... Vin Diesel's for sure dead, like, throughout this entire film. He's dead in every film. Just sad hand makes me sad, so that's a con, because I don't want to feel sad. It's good, hand. though. It's... Yeah. Killed off Giselle. I wanted them to go to Tokyo and be happy. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, but you know what we're like, we're bringing people back. <laughs> She'll probably be in Fast 9, whatever we're going to yeah. fucking call it. Yeah, that'll do. Fuck it. My cons. We don't need a recap montage. Who don't love a montage? <laughs> it's so weird. I but feel like they've, they've put that in because this is the one where it starts it's, properly. Yeah, it's the one that blends them all together into. Yeah. And hits, it's, it kind of hits the nail on the head of where they want to go in the franchise, doesn't it? Yeah. Action, adventure spy, heisty type yeah. shenanigans. It just... It's like a previously on Fast and Furious. Um, right, why do we have to put a random kind of like fierce woman, woman with Hobbs in two films running? Because like, they both got hit something. It's just weird though, because Gina okay. just plays the woman from the last film. Yeah, but one of them's a shady character. I mean, both of them were really, weren't they? One went off with him. Oh yeah, but then she's, with... she's got no repercussions for that. <laughs> <laughs> um, wait, what? Bald Englishman. Oh, that was the guy that he interrogated in the room. It was bad acting. Um, Ludacris has a topless scene. He does, and he's very oily. He is. Um, it's Roman bitches on the side of Roman's plane. I mean, that character would have it. So it, it just a not Tyrese is shit, right? All right. <laughs> Plugging their own toys in their own films. It's always an interesting thing to do, isn't it? <laughs> and he's like, yeah, have this Fast and Furious copyrighted car, little baby. Man. I thought Tyrese needs things to do, doesn't he? Get rid of him. Um, come on, you son of a bitch. <laughs> the script's garbage in this film. The reason why it annoys me so much is because it's obvious they're trying to make it into a catchphrase for <laughs> Hobbs. And boy, boy, oh boy, he says it a lot in, in Fast Five, but I thought for sure they wouldn't carry that on. They did. He says it about mistaken. five times in this yeah. one. <laughs> you Jesus were very Christ. much mistaken. Um, the Rock Falling. Oh, yeah, that's when he, where they're chasing. In the car chase, where he. Yeah. And he jumps off. Yeah. But he falls faster, doesn't he? He's heavier. Big boy, isn't he? Uh, the I English... didn't mention the fucking runway. God damn it. No, he didn't. <laughs> okay. She's a man. <laughs> Why can't Rodriguez run? Why can't she run, mate? It's a smell. It holds her down. <laughs> She's so weird watching her run. Um, they're working with the police. Why can't we just talk to Hobbs about... Oh, it's Braga. That's the guy's name. Yeah, when they're like, we need to get in to talk to Braga. And O'Connor's like, I've got a guy who can get us in. You're working with the guy to get you in. Hobbs. It was in the room. It's shit. Rita Ora. London isn't that quiet. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I guess that's for every car chase they have in every franchise ever, isn't it? Vin can't act. Um, the fact that... Uh, right. I liked the parallels between Vin and Luke Evans. I didn't like the fact that they both had the same idea with the two snipers in that one scene. No. Um, Vin didn't have that idea. Um, Hobbs had put a tracking device in his car. Oh, did he? Yeah. I think I was just too mad to listen. <laughs> right. 
that kind of makes up. The walls of Jericho. Break it down. Says it, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. A lot of cars should have lost control in that tank chase thing. And they just don't, even when people aren't driving them. When people are stood on top of the cars, they just keep going like, we need more alphabets. Yeah, there's more There's more cons that I've got that I just... How they all know how to use the tank, that kind of stuff, you know. Yeah, we need more alphabets, so that's just a fucking... How did you like this film more than Fast Five? Because it's better. It's more exciting and action-packed. Tyrese, Tyrese's car doesn't get crushed until he jumps off <laughs> onto the other car. Um, I put it's it's officially got insane. The jump. The jump. Fuck me. It's ridiculous, isn't it? Yeah. That's that point. If you could pinpoint when the Fast and Furious franchise goes completely just off the wall. It's that point when he jumps across and grabs her. I reviewed this film um, back in my reviewing days, so seven years ago, and I just called them the Everyman Avengers. Mm. You know, because that's what they that's what they turned into. Um, and then the action scene stopped. Because they anchor. It doesn't make sense. The car anchor. And, and then... It, it just completely cuts to a scene where they've arrested all the bad guys. Everyone's okay and they're in a warehouse. As soon as he jumps and they land on that other car and she's like, well, How did you know there was another car? I didn't. And then they just let the bad guy go. Because they've got Mia hostage. <laughs> and you, know, you don't just let them go. Because you don't want to much on them. <laughs> Woman's life is worth more than billions of innocent people, apparently. He's just massacred a bunch of people. <laughs> that ain't a plane, that's a planet. <laughs> uh, Gina's dead when she gets run over. And you know, there's a plane on a runway with open doors and she gets she rolls over the top of the car, so she would have the rock can fly. Or you can just jump really high. I don't know. Um, I didn't like how Gal Gadot turned in midair and shot the two guys as she was falling to her death. She didn't turn in midair. She I pushed mean, herself she... off and had enough time to... <laughs> <laughs> um, Luke Evans' death was so underwhelming. Death. Just... What? Death. Oh, he's not dead? Oh. He survived that. Oh, yeah, he's in the hospital, isn't he? Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, fair enough. Then. Um, it's a long, long runway, isn't it? Twenty-seven miles long. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Vin, Vin, mate, you better on you. Vin's girl, ex-girl, doesn't get any repercussions, and she gets a job back. She gets a better job, if anything. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> with Hobbs. Yeah. Um, uh, and then just why aren't Vin and Dwayne looking at each other? It's the most, it's just so odd. They're stood in front of each other, but, well, uh, you should just, just watch it, guys. Why not? They're my cons. They are my cons. I've got a lot more cons. Um, there's literally barely any mention of Giselle dying. They give him a hug, mate. Yeah, they hug Anne. That's yeah. about it. One person like, hugs him. Paul. Paul Walker no. hugs him. No mention of any any time after that. No. But fucking smelly bitch Letty. She died for a smelly, smelly man-looking bitch. She didn't die. She never died. She did die with the fucking giant explosion that supposedly killed her. <laughs> she, she's, oh, she manages to beat these trained... People who are trained in fighting and stuff. She manages to beat her. Mm. You know? Let's not get on to... Oh, there's fighting seven that's going to anger me. Um... <laughs> should we do uh, <laughs> should we do summaries uh, I guess so I forgot to write one again uh, <laughs> this is where they totally start going batshit the best characters both die <laughs> in this film those words out went out the window since the day we were born you really don't like that line do you no it's like, it's like you saw it. yeah yeah, yeah. But some good parts in this film but fuck me it got Got insane. 
I like the rival groups and parallels and some twists. But that third act is just pure ridiculousness. I had fun, though. I had fun. It's, it's a fun film. I just don't like any of it. I don't <laughs> I like of the, the actions. The action is good, if so over the top. It's you know insane. And that line. Go on, what's your rating? I'm not sure. You know, uh, is it better than Tokyo Drift? Is the question that's plaguing my mind. I'm gonna give it four out of seven. I gave it four out of seven as well. Well, that's our second to last reviews of the Fast and Furious franchise. Next. In uh, three weeks' time, yeah, we'll be doing Fast, no, Furious 7, Fate of the Furious, and the Fast and Furious present, Hobbs and Shaw. And so, uh, Fast and Furious Spy Racers. No, we're not doing Spy Racers. And we're also going to review Fast and Furious Crossroads, the game. I'll do that. <laughs> but no, it's a, it's a three-film review next one, so... Strapping guys, wrestling news quickly. Um, I'm first gonna just the first wrestling news, Carlito, just so I don't forget. Yeah, we thought he was coming back, he was there for like three weeks, and now he's not. Well, he, he was on the three week trial period, weren't he? Yeah. And now he's just decided, nah, it's not for me, lads. <laughs> Fuck all my fans. <laughs> Pants Bastard will be heartbroken. He will be. He didn't even spit in anyone's face. Probably because of COVID, and it's a bit... Um... Yeah, you'd imagine. Yeah, actually, COVID's a thing, in it? Yeah. Yeah. Can't go spitting in people's faces anymore. Even if they don't want to be cool. You could just, like, lob an apple at the temple. Just, like, proper full-on... And, fucking... and kill them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, it's kind of sad, but we don't need an old wrestler coming back, do we, Edge? Signings. <laughs> do do we? Lots. Lots and lots and lots. So there. Who have we got, mate? Oh, you want me to tell you? Yeah. Well, we've got uh, Taya Valkyrie, probably the biggest one there. Mrs. John Morrison. You know, she did a lot of stuff in Impact and um, stuff. We've also got Eli Drake. He debuted in NXT with the the incredible name LA Knight. LA Knight. <laughs> Is it Knight nice, like? With a K. Yeah. Signed more than 20 talents. Who else have we got? Blake Christian, who's sort of big on the indie scene at the minute. Does a lot of flippy shit, you know. Who else have we got? Yeah. Some of, just a bunch of other people. But I just want to talk about uh, the fact that the WWE informed non-wrestling employees that they wouldn't be receiving bonuses, raises or promotions in the near future right after they announced record profits. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. It's a shit company to work for, isn't it? I don't know why anyone would want to work with them. But following on from that, WWE have uh, stated that There'll be things raised if people do third-party promotions now on their Instagram and stuff. So another revenue stream that wrestlers could get um, being nixed, even though they're only independent contractors. It's actually insane. So the likes of Lana, Mandy Rose, yeah. those kinds, they'll be losing. Lana does a lot. And Fair whack, yeah. Does that mean they're not even allowed to do like TikToks and stuff? I'm not sure. No clue on that. No clue. Because who don't like watching Lana and Naomi wiggle their bottoms? Mmm, bottom. It's about the Carmella, not Lana. Um, Tom Cole, though, he's dead, isn't he? Yeah, he committed suicide, didn't he? Shit. Who's Tom Cole? He was the accuser in the, the Ring Boy scandal. Um, you know, all the paedophilia, all the nonsense way back when. He was sort of the guy that came out and said, yeah, we got nonced on that. <laughs> um, but, you know, Pat Patterson, he, he's still honoured by the company and stuff. Oh, was he one of the... Yes. People are saying that he got murdered. Just conspiracy. Of they are, yeah. They always say that when a celebrity kills themselves, don't they? 
Tom Cole's not really a celebrity. He's just no. a, a whistleblower. That's WWE, man, they're such a fucking... Oh. Slimy piece of shit. You subscribe to their thing. Yeah, I do. Got any shout-outs or uh, awareness? Not this, not this week. No, no. I answer you, though. Um, just don't tear your foreskin. Sure. Mm. And if you do, seek medical help. Don't be Dr. Vin Medicine Woman. Or spit on it. That too. That too. Mm. Right. Uh, fuck you, Seton. Ginger bastard. Stay fresh, guys. Stay fresh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Stick around, it's only the pony. Stick around, it's only the pony. Stick around, it's only the pony. Mr. Pineapple, oh yeah. It's Mr. Pineapple's Wonder Hour.